Good afternoon, teachers and pro audience. I'm Robbie and this is Tao Feng, Ethan and Wei Rong. So today, we'll be hosting the chairman interview for both candidates, Wei Rong and Ethan. So we essentially be just asking them a few questions and get them to share their views. Uh. Yeah, it's a semi-informal session. So right, okay, uh, I'll start off by asking Wei Rong, what do you think makes you unique as a chairman? Um, if you ask me what makes me unique as compared to the previous generations of chairmen that we, we had, I think that um, one character attribute which I have um, is um, I'm rather persistent at times, which can be viewed as a double-edged sword because um, from another perspective, this can be viewed as I'm being stubborn. So I believe that I should make full advantage of this character trait which I have, but at the same time, I have to be fully aware of it and can try to mi minimize the, my errors and you know um, account for my weaknesses. So the thing about me is that um, if I have the correct motivation, the correct initiatives, and I don't know what direction which I'm heading for, then I will try to do my best to push it towards that particular direction and bring the Dirty Pride Council to greater heights. I hope I've answered your question. Yeah. Okay, so now Ethan. Uh, okay, uh, as I said, uh, okay, I will not want to make this like some kind of self praise of myself. So I'll start with what I don't really do very well. Okay, um, first, I, sometimes I'm reserved because I don't want to offend anybody or make or make them feel that they're not important or something. So, but sometimes there are things that need to be said, and today and this year I'll change that. I will say the things that need to be said. Some the truth needs to be said, not what people want to hear. And another thing myself is that I believe, and I think the whole Borough Council, every councillor believes that we need to consider the team. I consider the team, and I value the, the, the whole team as a whole. So we need, uh, uh, bearing that in mind, I will. All the initiatives, all the plans that I will be doing in the future will be based on that team and based on that trust that we have in each other. So my next question for the both of you would be what what, what would you want to steer the council into? What direction would you like to steer the council into? And what are the future plans you have for the council? Well, it that you want to go with. What I feel the council should be is a family not only within itself, being bonded and being a band of brothers, as Mr. Emdeo always says, uh, but also within the consortium. And the consortium itself also should be a family. Teachers, students, even though sometimes my uh, differences, uh, sometimes we get angry at certain teachers or certain students, but we need to recognize that we, since we are in our consortium, we are in our family. So that should be the direction we need. On my direction, I think it should be us. We should care about us, not about you or not about me. When we do things, we, we don't do things for me or don't do it for us. We do it for us, the big picture. So that's what our council should be. And as for what I plan to do um, at events or initiatives, it should be based on that, that, that idea of us. Uh, actually, I don't really want to spoil anything. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, some some planned ideas that you are not willing to share with the student body yet, so you want to give them a, a surprise. Okay, so, uh, Wero, would you like to share our views? Um, yeah, actually I do have some ideas of a council direction. Um, I'll actually be dividing the direction into say, three stages, stage one, two, and three. So basically, in stage one, I have to make sure that all our councillors are very good event organizers. I mean, to, to say that we need to organize events for the student population, they won't be like, yeah, nah, not, not this day again. So we want them, we want to make our events so good that it's worth looking forward to. That's one. Um, stage two, after we achieve, um, after we are good at organizing events, next is that we have to make an effort to connect with students better. Not only do we have to oh, communicate with them, we, there are times you have to listen to them as well. Not, not just, okay, there's a difference between heard and listen. You see, we try to listen to them as much as possible, base our initiatives on their needs and wants, rather than what we think and infer from a council's point of view. Uh, lastly, stage 3, which is the most important stage. Um, it's important for counsellors to be role models, and that is actually a long-term goal in which we would all like to achieve. Uh, being a role model is not easy, it, it won't just come overnight. So I want counsellors to treat it as a long-term goal rather than a 
theory or some idea that is just hang, hanging there. We want councils to view it as a long-term goal that can be achieved and should be achieved within their three years being constant, mahjong and being proactive. Yeah, so basically these are the three stages of direction which I would like to provide for the right council. Thank you. Okay, so now I'll ask you uh, one question. So, um, and you know that every batch of council is unique. So how can you, as chairman, ensure that the different council is unique as well? Uh, if you are asking me about being unique as compared to the other three consulting councils, then uh, I would like to use how Singapore treats the four major races that we have. Yeah. Um, as much as we want to treat the races equally without um, with proper respect as a we have to um, have to pay special attention to their differences, their slight differences like the, uh, the festivities and their cultures, their values. So um, looking back to the Hua Chong four person council system, I mean that the, the area in which we should draw our line of differences lies in the event that we organize. Okay, maybe in terms of council uh, structure, the way we work, the way we hire people, they can be all be the they should be the same technically. But in terms of the events that we have, the initiatives that are carried out, the ideas, the activities that are carried should be different. And that I believe will be what makes us unique from the other consulting councils. Yeah. No, uh, I think yeah, I, I really agree with what we have said. Yeah, we, all four all four councils we are different, but essentially we are all pushing for student welfare and community students. That's, that's what we were made for. So, but uh, other than that, I also want to make the Dirty Bur Bureau also unique in the sense that it's the team will be unique. The people will be unique. We will be a team with individuals, like-minded individuals, though we have our differences, working towards the same goal. And we, we have our differences, but we sort them out. And we appear as one front. And we should not lose that vision. Throughout, throughout the years or throughout the year and that's why I think that 13 Prairie Council will be should be Sexy answers Yeah, thank you, thank you I, 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 must, I must say that I completely agree with you guys lah. Yeah, Council unity matters a lot and it is what makes us different as a council for. So finally I would like to ask you one question Would you like to share anything with the student body that would, why, why do you deserve their role? Any one of you can go I thought I answered so I go first. Yeah. Okay, um, basically, I, I sometimes I ask myself why do I drive also because um, maybe I want opportunities, I want challenges. There are things that I look forward to. And all of us only live one time in our, our, our life. I do not want to go to upper sec asking myself, hey, why did I not grab this opportunity when it comes by? When it comes by, just grab it, make the full use of it, progress with it. So. I hope that you guys can give me this opportunity to actually um, be your chairman, to show you guys what I can do and show and, and prove to myself, make it a challenge to myself that I can actually achieve more things that I'm achieving today. Um, next reason that you guys should work for me is that um, I looking at the exco that we have, the five guys, they're actually nice people. There is potential, there is future for the Fred Council. But all the more we have a good team and members, it's important that we have a good leader that can provide the right direction. The correct direction the council should be heading. What should we be doing? Looking at the needs and wants of, uh, of uh, students, carrying out the right welfare initiatives and events that students really want to see. This is the direction that a, a good leader should provide. And I believe that in this case, I'm up for the challenge. So please vote for me. Thank you. Uh, in my case, um, I like to emphasize that not okay, um, as much as this is an election of two people. I don't want to sell myself, or I don't, also don't think we want to sell himself. Oh, I want power or anything. So, so, but okay. So what I'm trying to say is both me because for my my cause. What I have been saying is what we have been saying for so long. Already. In fact, it's getting a bit boring. Is that we are family and that this is just what we should be. I mean, what for what for stay disunited? It's better to be a family, a band of brothers, and just be that family that has the warmth and the kindness to each other. Uh, so I hope we vote for me.
Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait. He, he lacks the... Okay, okay. No, 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 no,